Welcome to the Local 5 Weather Lab. I'm meteorologist Brandon Lawrence. You know, ever since August 10th, 2020, the term derecho has been thrown around a lot more. It's been used much more frequently. Part of that is because we've actually had several derechos since that time. You know, there have been four derechos to impact Iowa in the last few years. Of course, the big one being August 10th of 2020. We also had one on December 15th of 2021. We had one that hit Northwest Iowa May 12th of 2022, just earlier this year. That's when that haboob formed in Northwest Iowa. And then most recently, we had one on July 5th, 2022. Now, the term derecho is not new. It was actually first used by a University of Iowa professor way back in the 1800s, and it basically means straight. That's the word in Spanish for straight. It's derecho, and it's a long-lived windstorm. Basically a big area of thunderstorms that form into a line and then they travel for a really long time packing a punch with severe winds. So some of the basic criteria for a derecho, it must travel 240 to about 250 miles or more and then it must have severe wind gusts of 58 miles per hour or greater. That is the criteria for a severe storm alone. Now in the Midwest, in Iowa, where we have the yellow, we typically see one derecho every two years based on our climate data. Areas to our south and to our east normally see derechos a little bit more frequently. However, again, we've just had that kind of off year or off few years where we've had four derechos in the last two years. This does not mean every severe storm or every complex of severe storms will become a derecho. Again, it's got to fit that specific criteria. Now, typically, these are going to happen in the summer when we have a lot of heat and a lot of humidity. In May alone, that's when we have 22% of our derechos nationwide. In June, 20% of them happen. And in July, 21% of them happen. The rest of the months, less than 10% of derechos happen during that time frame. So usually we watch for these in the summer, Although, as we know, they can happen at other times of year, like in December of last year. And again, we do watch for about one every two years. There will be many severe weather events that do not wind up becoming a derecho. And not all derechos are the same. As we just saw July 5th, 2022, a fairly weak derecho moving through parts of Iowa compared to the really strong one we had back in August of 2020. For the Local 5 Weather Lab, I'm meteorologist Brandon Lawrence.